Hi fellow collectors, uh, this is Toys TV and this is the first, you know, maybe the first regular English program ever from Toys TV, right? Yup, it's finally here. Yeah. We've been talking about doing something in English for the fans of Toys TV. Yeah. Yeah. And we actually talked about it for months. Yeah. And finally it's here. Yeah, but actually we are just waiting for him. <laughs> okay. I'm ready, I'm always yeah, ready. Let, let's, let's tell the name of this program is X Unbox. Yeah. So what is X? X, X means <laughs> your <Yeah>, Wolverine. <laughs> so many X. Uh, X means uh, extra. Very quick, very fast and very quick like express. express. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So just just give him give it a name and make it very easy to remember. Yeah. All right. So okay. So to the first figures we're going to show in the X and box is Hot Toys, uh, Ragnarok, Four, Thor, uh, Part Three, and Gladiator Four in Gladiator gear. outfit. Yeah, uh, outfit or costume. Yeah. Okay. So this is a deluxe version, right? So can you tell yes. me what's different? Uh, I cannot tell you the difference. But there's, there's some extra of... extra parts, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Main extra oh. parts, but we talk about uh, extra parts in the Cantonese version before. But uh, but you know, it's okay. Right. Just maybe the sword. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but I I I I'm not sure. Maybe okay. maybe maybe this sword. Maybe this sword. Maybe okay. maybe because I think this is a uh, basic <laughs> weapons of. Gladiator Four in the in the in the movies, and the helmet is the basic gear. Yeah, and I think these the gun and then this, yeah. this pair of swords they're from a different scene. Yeah, right? yeah. So this is regular. This item. pair of swords, the, the shield, shield, the mace, and the, and the shortened version, they are from the same uh, scene. Yeah, so I I'm guessing these three yeah. are the extra. Ones. Maybe your yeah. guess is right. So your uh, what is so we'll, this? We'll, we'll find out and then we post on the comments. Yeah. Okay. So we uh, divide it into different parts to talk about the head scrub first. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you satisfy with the head scrub for this four? Joe? I kind of like it personally, and I understand that there are some uh, fans who are saying that uh, the bone structure is a little bit slim. Mm -hmm. Like here, around this drawer area, it's a little yeah. bit slim. And I can tell you why. Why? Because <laughs> of this. Helmet. Yeah. So you, so you can you can put the helmet on, and once you put the helmet on, it will fit perfectly. Yeah. yeah. So otherwise, if you have the um, a regular with kind of face, yeah. so to speak, uh, it may be too wide for the for the helmet. Yeah, yeah, as I could remember, many of the Hot Toys previous items, when there is a helmet including, usually they would make the helmet built in with the head yeah. that, that means it's not removable helmet. But this time, this Gladiator 4, he has a remo removable helmet, so the head scrub should, should have some adjustment to, to, to fit the helmet perfectly. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And we're gonna put it on and then show yeah, you guys yeah. later on. Okay. okay. And uh, with, so the head scrub, I think, is, uh, you know, it's quite perfect in my point of view. All right. Uh, very good lightness of the, of the actors. And uh, certainly, there is some kinds of certain degrees of, you know, with too perfect. But I think most fans too are perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, for 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 you know, a little bit thinner than the real person, right? You, you mean the school is a little bit narrower than? Yeah, I think that the the jaw area down from the the cheek area is a little bit yeah. narrower yeah. than than the real uh, Chris. But other than that, I think you know the 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 likeness is quite good. Yeah. And I certainly enjoy the the paint job on on the head sculpt. You know, mm -hmm. good as always uh, from Hot Toys. And you know the 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 haircut is very cool. Yeah. And you know, looking at the the short hair version, I I can almost tell you that you know this looks so much better than than the Thor from. With the long hair from before, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you know you can't really go back to to the yes, old hairstyle. Yes. You know yeah. this looks so modern and, and cool, and you can see like you know. So the next the, movie of the Infinity War maybe they go back to yeah, the past. I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, some some no picture. spoilers. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But yeah, yeah, I agree with Joe that uh, this looks much much better than the long hair one. 
but anyway. Yeah. Um, well, even if you pre-order the Infinity Wall one, this one is different because of the wall paint on the face. Yeah, yeah. But, but some people saying that they are the, they have the same head sculpt of this and the Infinity Wall versions. Looks mm. pretty cold, but I'm not sure because we cannot. Yeah, I'm it. not sure it's, if it's the same because that one he he doesn't wear a helmet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. When we go to the second important part is the armors. You know the great data armors. We seldom see, uh, hot, uh, no, not hot title. Avengers Four have such an armors. It's more you know, Asian like or medieval like, great data armor, instead of like a sci fi sci fi one. You know the the ordinary costume or armors. Of yeah, yeah. Is, You know, it's very different. But this one looks looks like he's come from the earth. This one has the. Uh, like the Roman, yeah, the Roman yeah, feel Roman to it gladiator. because it's a gladiator, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it has a Roman feel to it, and it has some uh, script or writing on the chest and on, on the shoulder piece, yeah. you know, it's uh, some kind of alien uh, language, I don't know what it is, or some, some kind of symbol. And it's very good for Hot Toy to make it in a PVC plastic. It make it look more leather-like and you know has some certain kind of elasticity. Mm. That means it's not very hard. You, you a little bit elastic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So it's a very smart. Can you take choice. this off? Uh, uh, oh no. Maybe we can try, but you know, in the instruction sheet, they usually tell us not to remove okay. the cost. They don't recommend yeah. removing it. Okay. They don't recommend. It. Since a few years ago, they stopped letting the customer to remove their costume and armors. Hmm. Okay. But it's a good, good, good policy because uh, you know. Why, why to remove the costume of armors? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, yeah, one, one six scale player like to uh, do some customization. Like customization, you know, put yeah. on a different, Try different to kind of something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they, they think the, the, the muscular body is not strong enough, they, they replace with the stronger one. Yeah. Okay, let, let's talk about the, the arms. The arms is uh, rubber arms, we call rubber arms, and rubber arms, you know... Silicone, the, right? Yes, maybe silicone, silicone maybe some yeah. copy... I, f I forgot the uh, technical term, maybe i ask Curtis later. Yeah, it feels like silicone to me, but I'm, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. That means the articulation and joint is all covered by the, yeah. you know, like a skin, something like that. Only, only for the elbow, right? Yeah. I think on the on the shoulder, it's not. No, uh, it's just, no. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it is good at least, Mark. You know, uh, no need to be a whole complete rubber body, and you know the material will be deteriorate in a certain extent. So, so yeah. One one thing to mention that uh, don't try to place this kind of figures uh, uh, below the sunlight. It would be deteriorate. Very, very, fast. very quickly. Yeah, yeah very quickly. Yeah, with, the, with the heat and the UV light. UV light, yeah. UV light. The point is the UV light. So just to avoid UV light from these figures. Otherwise, right. your figures will be, oh. Yeah. And when you uh, do some posture like this, bend the arms, uh, better to put it back to a relaxed form. This is also so in the instruction sheet because, you know, it will make the silicon or rubber body deteriorate more quickly. Yeah. yeah. So, so in other words, uh, if you do something like this, like a pose, don't put it like this in your display case for a long period yeah, of time. Yeah. You know, do do your pose, take your pictures, and but you put it back on the display case. You know, undo the pose yeah. and just let him you know stand like yeah, this. It's difficult to this will last for a long time because this is the nature of the material. So up to now, we still have no such an, a material that is like a silicon and could not be deteriorated in longer time. Maybe there is, but you know, it's not for, uh, it's not for the industrial use. Maybe, right. maybe NASA had this. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's a catch-22, you know, some people like the, the perfect look, yeah. but they have to deal with the, the silicone yeah. and the breaking. And sometimes, you know, other fans, yeah. including me, I prefer, you know, with the, yeah. the hard plastic. Yeah. You know, you can see yeah. the joint, but you know, um, for sure it lasts a longer time. Yeah, and we go to the legs part is the... I see the pants, they're uh, actually made of uh, cloth. Cloth. The, cloth. The, back fabric, is, yeah. the back is it's fabric, fabric, it's yeah. cloth, yeah. But the front side, it's also... It's the also front, fabric. this piece right here, it's... Is it platter or plastic? I don't know. I'm not sure. But this maybe should be a kind of me. plastic. Yeah. A kind oh, of maybe plastic. it's platter. It's, yeah, uh, it's soft. It's yeah. platter. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's the, the knee pad is plastic. Yeah, yeah. it's the same case with the yeah. rubber bodies. Uh, try to avoid the UV light and uh, make it longer, longer lasting. That's that's my recommendation. And uh, you know, this is a really woman style. You know, with the this crop. I don't know how it's called. It's like it's called a half cape. Yeah, maybe. And maybe. you can see in the back there's uh, there's a some some kind of hanger over here, mm -hmm. like a hook. Yeah. So it, it looks really cool from the front, like you know, yeah. the, this it has some kind of shape yeah. to it. And Captain Phasma yeah. one is similar. Captain Phasma also on the oh. left hand side. Oh really? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about we go to the weapons? Because there's lots of weapons with this the last part. I think it is you know worth the price. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or do you have nine yeah. pieces? Armors, weapons, and and uh, you know. Co weapons and warm weapons. Okay, so let's start with the one by one with the mini swords. Yeah. So I remember in the movie he, he took it out and then uh, the in the in the movie they kind of extend. Did the did the did the, did the audience laugh when he put put out this? Like no, no. It actually, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I I think this is a kind of joke in the movies. You know, the sword is not he, real. He took it out and then you know it oh, extends extend and it becomes like this. this one. Okay. But in in this set, it's not doable. So you have to swap between yeah. these and these. Yeah. And I kind of remember you have uh, We can put it on magnet, the back right? Yeah, There's yeah, yeah We can try here in front of the videos So which, which style is it? Oh, like yeah. this? Okay So it is good to use a magnetic Because uh, there's no scratch or no hole here So just you know, ordinary or normal Regularly nothing here But you can put it like that So yeah, it's, it's very quite easy huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. cool It's a cool operation Okay so we go so, to this. Wow, this. This is the mace. The audience laugh when it when he put it out really? like a screwdriver. I think this is pretty classic. <laughs> I know a lot of people say this is a screwdriver, but Very I don't similar. think it's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we it's know that it's a mace, but but it looks like screwdriver in one to one scale, not one to six scale. Can you hold this? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Is this the hand? No, this is different hand. Yeah. Okay, this one. We have to a little bit quicker because you know we have got a lot of dialogue inside the programs okay. so we can put it on this yes. okay. four is holding this screwdriver no no the mace the mace and we talk about the shoe. The shoe is a very not a Rom Roman style, but it's like, like very a, futuristic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sci-fi one and can can use like a weapon, you know, similar to the Cap A new shoe in the Infinity War. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit yeah. like. And the cool part is, you know, yeah. in the back, the grip uh, and the a lot of details, and you yeah, know, you can yeah. slip the arm underneath. Yeah. And this is the grip right here, yeah. like a handle. Hot Toys didn't yeah. skip the details at the in this part, and we go to another part. And we have the sword, Two sword. yeah, that we shown just a couple minutes ago, like a future one. But this too is like a ancient. These are very classic. They yeah. they have this, uh, you know, the the Norse. Yeah. Mythology, you know, design and, and things like this on there. I don't remember when he used this, and somebody told me yeah. that uh, maybe like at the end of the movie. This kind of yeah. weapon is, you know, looks similar to the medieval crusaders. You know, usually you know, they. You have know what? It, it looks like the sword uh, from Conan. Conan, Conan yeah, yeah, the barbarian. Yeah. It looks kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe a Caucasian style or European style Asian And then uh, you have this uh, laser machine, machine gun, gun. Yeah. And the handles are here yeah. and here I remember so he, he, he hold it, it like this. at the yeah. end of the movie with Loki Yeah, with Loki, yes yeah. So uh, there's and a lot of weapons in and see, for see this deluxe yeah. So the box is not look huge But you know, it consists of many many good parts for 1.6 scale So I think this yeah. is Worth the name of the last, and these are clear parts. Yeah, they have clear parts over here. The red ones. Okay, right over here. And also we have. Oh, we didn't wear the helmet. Please. Yeah, let's so, do the helmet. Yeah, let's yeah. do the helmet. Just put it on, right? 
and this part is removable. It's kind of funny. Oh, it looks like his, oh, his yeah. brain is being exposed. <laughs> no good, no good. No, you have to take it apart. Take it apart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, looking good. And this is a very cool, cool actions of Hot Toys to do the helmet like this way, because it, we can go as a removable or workable helmet this time. Yeah, yeah, not the scrub mix, mixture of head scrub and the helmet. I think since the first one, they uh, they haven't put on the helmet for Thor, right? Yeah. The first figure they had, they had like uh, the classic with the wings and stuff, and it's yeah. kind of cool that you know they. We designed the helmet yeah. with a similar theme yeah. on it. I think most collectors yeah. of one six scale would like to have this kind of, you know, removable or functional helmet. Okay, so and also with the very Let's typical talk about the stand. Stand. Yeah. It's the same design for the for the whole series, right? And at the same time, we show yeah. all the hands together because this is like a graded hands, and there's a small armors on the on the feet. The hands part like on the back of the hand there are yeah. some some kind of protective yeah. uh, guards on it this this thing actually has a texture but it's not removable so it's it's permanently uh, attached to the base Let's put it on. okay so that's the fall ready the fall okay maybe that's all for this episode right yeah that's it for now and yeah. uh, we appreciate your support yeah. and we definitely want you to uh, put comments in the video and tell us what you like what you want to see and yeah. uh, we'll try to make more videos like this in the future yeah, yeah. all right and thanks for watching okay thanks, thanks. Time, boss. bye see you